All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we would like to give our praise on the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and our apostles, great millstone, taught us the truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother Iowa Lum, you're joined with. This is Brother Thawaf. Yeah, we're coming back at you with another uh, another lesson, you know, going into knowledge, wisdom, understanding shall be the stability of our times. It's about, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to, you know, what you know when, you know, when all hell breaks loose, you know. So I'm going to start it off. This is the book of Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Hey, I can give me a favor real quick. You can just go to, uh, just Google, just type in the word stability and see what comes up on Google. Yeah. Yeah, because what? It's going to keep us stable in these times. Because what? It's going to be a lot of bloodshed, a lot of people dropping dead, you know? Knowledge, knowledge, wisdom, understanding is going to keep us stable. Is that uh, definition of st uh, stability? In the definition of stability, it's uh, a noun. It says a state of being stable. There are the fears of a political stability of the area. You know, that's a prime example. Yeah, and yeah. then it got similarities of uh, firmness, solidarity, and steadiness. You steadiness, know? exactly. Yeah. You know, this this truth is going to keep us steady in that time. This truth is going to keep us, uh, what's the word? It's a, uh, stable. This truth is going to, this knowledge, wisdom, understanding is going to keep us stable in the times that's to come. Because what? Ultimately, what's going to happen? A lot of people are going to, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's drop, dropping dead. You know, and so ultimately, what? Knowledge, wisdom, understanding is going to keep us stable in these times. It says, of thy times and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Uh, can you give me that, uh, that Psalms? is the man who fears the Lord who's greatly delight in his commandments and his offspring will be mighty in the land the generation of the upright will be blessed wealth and riches are in the house and his righteousness endures forever right ultimately you know uh knowledge you know keeping up the commandments of uh knowledge wisdom and understanding you know you know understanding you know because uh, what the Lord is not going to get uh, knowledge wisdom understanding to a nigga you know that's that's in the world you know mm -hmm. You know, the Lord is not dwelling with a nigga like that, you know. The Lord is going to get knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to those that, you know, that kept they, uh, kept his ways to the best of their ability, you know. The Lord is going to have those covered. You know, the Lord is going to bless those uh, ones with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know. But ultimately, uh, yeah, knowledge, wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. Let me uh, <coughs> get Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. <laughs> Uh, I'll wait for you up. Uh, Ecclesiastes 712. I'm going to read it off. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. It says, For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge of knowledge is that wisdom giveth light to them that have it. Right. Wisdom is a defense. Right. As it says, well, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth light to them that have it. Right, and ultimately what? This is going to save us in the times that's to come. Knowledge, wisdom, and, under and understanding. It's going to come down to what you know, you know? Right, and definitely having that right stability and right frame of mind. Because if we know, we yep. know everything is a balance. But having that good, solid, balanced, stable mind is, is going to, that's what we're going to need in the times that we're here. Kind, that was in the definition for stability. Yep. Stable. Yep. stable. Being stable. Having stable you know? Mind, yep. So, yeah, you know, <laughs> knowledge, wisdom, understanding is going to keep us stable in this time. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, it's so, going to come. So, like, you, you all good. Because, uh, you know, because when the times that we're entering in, in the current times that we are right now, having that stability of mind, and then the times that's coming into with that Jacob struggle, that our temptation, that MOTB, that Karabi, and hey, these are going to be the things that we're going to be tested, you know. Yeah, it should come upon all the world, you know. And a lot of these camps out here, that's not even teaching about that prophecy. They don't have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of Yahweh by Shemiah Hosha. You know? Yeah, that house of Saul, yeah. We're in the house of David. And that's right. 
look at first Thessalonians 5 before I'm going to read it. Just have it on deck, you know, for, for your viewers. Uh, this is the book of 1 Thessalonians 5 and 4. It says, But ye brethren are not in darkness, that the day shall overtake you as a thief. Right, we're not in darkness because what? We're understand, we're aware, we have that knowledge, we have that wisdom, we have that understanding of what's going on in today's times. You know, so it's not going to overtake us as these people of the world because what? They're, they're, they are in darkness, they are blinded, you know? So the you know when you how about Shemiel shot ultimately makes the second return it's going to overtake these people every hey even in the prophecies that's going to come to pass you know the MOTB you know the famines the pestilences the sword it's going to overtake all these people because what you know they're in darkness they don't have that knowledge wisdom understanding that you how about Shemiel shot gave to us you know you know they they're going to be confounded you know they're going to be they're going to be um what's the word for it you know you know they're not just basically they're not going to know what's going on when you know when you know when shit hits the fan. That the day shall overtake you as a thief. And it's not going to overtake us because what? We have that knowledge. We have that wisdom. We have that understanding. You know? Verse 5. Going back to uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. For knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. It says, uh, Ye are all the children of light and of the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of, dark, uh, of darkness. Right? We're the children of the light. You know? And the children of the uh, day, we are not... Or, so like we are not of the night nor of darkness right because what well, we have this knowledge wisdom understanding you know we're not in this dark and state like the rest of these people are you know you know so basically how about shimmy al has opened up our eyes to receive it what's that you know uh what's that matthews uh 13 and 11 hey you can actually grab that real quick up that's not a scripture we, you know we saved up but it's a, it's, a, it's actually a good scripture matthews 13 and 11 And said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them is not given. Right, it's given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. You know, the Lord has you know bestowed this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding unto us to know these things. You know, it's not given to the rest of the world, so it's a it's a blessing that we see these things. You know. And the knowledge, wisdom, understanding that Yahweh Shimei Al Shai given us at this very moment is going to keep us stable in the times that's to come, you know, or the times that we're currently in right now, you know. And that's a beautiful thing, right? You know, Yahweh Shimei Al Shai blinded two thirds of Israel. That's yep. still a part of this world, and then they blessed, uh, they uh, blinded the rest of the world as well too, including our people as well too. But Jake is our uh, stiff necked, stiff neck, and uh, stubborn. You know, he didn't want to they. <laughs> You know, uh, Israel and Eve, you know, they don't want to come back to lost that just come in. And that was knowledge and understanding. Right. You know, and they'd rather be a uh, part of, of this world, you know. And so, you know, Lord willing, we be, be those that uh, elect men, you know, to be able to constantly, consistently, meekness, humbleness, and sincerity to be able to know these things. Like the brother Alan Warren just said, hey, hey, the Wadi how about Shimei Al Shai? So, yep. for us to, to know this, you know. Yeah, because what the two thirds of our people wasn't given to. So ultimately, what they're destined for destruction. Yeah. You know, because what they don't have that knowledge, wisdom, understanding. It was never, you know, given to them in the first place. You know, <laughs> I think that's Romans three. Well, you don't have to get it, but it talks about. Uh, I believe it's Romans three, but it talks about how David said, you know, let their tables be a snare. You know, but um, let's go back to the uh, go back to the lesson at hand. Uh, let me get uh, you got anything, Gaku? Or... Huh. This is the book of Proverbs 4 and 5. It says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Right? It says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Basically, it's to show you how important knowledge, wisdom, understanding is, especially in the times that we're going to come into. It says, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Right? Just to basically show you this. The first scripture that we read, you can uh, get the Isaiah 33 and 6 again. We'll probably close, you know, read, we'll go read that again and we'll close out with that one. But, um... It says, forget it not, neither decline from the uh, from the words of my mouth. Right? We're supposed to take heed. We're supposed to cleave unto the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. You know? Because what? As we're going back, what we're going to read in this Isaiah 33 and 6 again. You know, um, let me actually pull it back up myself. Hold on. You are good. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And, and he, Salakia, that's a oh, different translation. 
I mean, different translations. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this is the KJV translation right here. Isaiah 33 and 6. And it works through the Holy Scriptures. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Exactly right. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding shall be the stability of thy times. And we read the, you know, we read the definition for the word, or the brother, the why. You know, read the uh, the definition for the word uh, stability, which goes back to being, you know, stable, steady. You know, it's going to keep us stable. It's going to keep us in the right frame of mind in the times that we're coming into. So it says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And the strength of, sal and the, and the strength of salvation. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know? So just to basically, you know, summarize, you know, knowledge, wisdom, understanding is going to be you know, very important in the times that we're coming into. It's going to come down to what you know, and ultimately going to come down to, you know, uh, ultimately, you know what? Yeah, how about Shemel Shai delivering us out this hell hole, you know? Because salvation is the, the end destination, destruction of this place, you know? So you ain't had nothing else up? So with that being said, we hope this lesson was edifying. We end up by giving our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq, by Dash. That want us to the elders and the apostles to great millstone taught us this truth and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Lord willing, we hope this was edifying until next time. Wah, a ba ba ba. Shalom. Shalom.